<laughs> yo, yo, yo! What up, guys? Welcome back to another one. And today we're gonna get a little different. We're about 30 minutes away from uh, home, and we're with Trace. You guys haven't seen Trace forever, the old pigeon slayer McGee himself. We're going to do something with him today. He's got a gnarly field, and I mean gnarly. It's got 2,500 birds on it steady for the last week and a half. We're gonna be laying in white. We got a ton of stuff to load. My truck's full. We got Brad with us. It's about to go down. Let's go. Hold on, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Uh, they're real. I just, a lot of them were given to me. I had a guy give me seven of them. Holy dog piss. Look who it is. Ooh. Old redhead. We ain't seen him in a while. Old pitch slayer himself. Look at this. That's what he does with his life. He spends his every day just pitching, hunting, and trying to find these damn bands. Why don't you have a kid or something, man? I need one. I need one bad. <laughs> getting done we're, we're about 75 percent done this is all of uh, Trace's decoys here I didn't bring any of our stuff so all Trace's trailer and decoys and Trace and us you know we own about the same amount of decoys so we run both of our spreads pretty much the same we sit them up pretty much the same especially with white so there's only really one way to do white I showed you guys but if you guys uh, if you guys want me to do another how to sit white spreads Drop a comment down below right now and let me know and I can do another Foul Friday on it or something. Bobby. What, man? I'm staking and not setting decoys. Man, you just keep complaining. You're a woman. Worse than a woman. Here we go, guys. This is this is uh, Trace's old spread. I told you we guys do them pretty much identical. Pretty much rock the same spreads for these lessers and snows and cacklers and what have you, but... Got an open stake there. We're out here, we're all set up. Got the darks out, so we have all the darks out in front with a kill hole here, laying in white painter suits, back in the socks, so. Let's hope it's a good one. We need a banger hunt. All the birds, as you could see, when they first got up, they worked to the right of it. They didn't decoy. We're having trouble decoying them. We have great wind, great sun. The sun's making these white socks pop really bright. Great conditions for a sock hunt, but it's not working. They don't like something. My theory is we've got a bunch of new honkers in. Honkers don't like it. I just think that, I don't know. All these new birds, they just don't know what they want to do. This new, this cold front has just, push so many new birds to us that they're jumping around they're not staying on feeds very long the first feed that they usually get to they're only there for 20 minutes and then they're going to another one across the road and then doing a bunch of crazy stuff but what we're doing we're going pigeon hunting there are a lot of pigeons there's hundreds coming in and you guys know Trace loves some pigeon hunting and damn it I love some pigeon hunting so Trace has already hunted these pigeons, so I don't know how long ago it was. Hopefully they just decoy easy and hopefully we have a good hunt. This is a goose hunt turned pigeon hunt. So hopefully we just wreck them. What do you think? Oh yeah. They're all over the place. Dude, they're uh, everywhere. They're yeah, they're everywhere. That's all pigeons right there landing. They're just all over this field. So here we go. This is the stuff I like. This is the stuff I like. We got pigeons in the field. We're gonna make a hunt out of it, dang it. At least we're gonna try. Golly, they're seriously pouring in here. We're not even, we're not even uh, to the uh, edge of the field yet, and they are just freaking pouring in here. 
So, uh, what are you doing here, Trace? Uh, you know. What's what's going on geese here? Geese don't want to work. I can pigeon hunt it. So we're going we're gonna to pigeon hunt it. So, as you can see, there is our spread. All the way to the hell out there by the center pivot. We are right here. And we're going to use duck mojos to decoy pigeons. We're going to sit right behind this here shed. Got a good wind block. We're going to be comfy and try to try to shoot some birds. Oh, look at this. They're just floating in here. Huh? Duck mojos, wait, like we hey, said. Wait, wait, no, call duck them. mojos. They love it. They're, they eat it up. That's what I've been telling you guys. Use, use dove mojos. Duck mojos work too. Kill them. Sit down. That was a close shot. Golly. Come here. I need chills. Sit. Oh, ho, 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 that boy, dude. Catch <laughs> up. <laughs> He's got stickers. <laughs> he got stickers in his feet. Poor guy. He says, "Just he says, help me out, help me out, Dad." Uh, hang on. Oh, that would have been an awesome friggin' shot, dude. Let him get close and blow him up. No, no. Oh, look! Look what's coming. Yeah, he's right. He's right. Look at what is coming. Look at all these birds. Oh my god. I only have two shots in. Look at this. Hello. Oh yeah, doing it all kinds of dirty. They'll, they'll keep working. They won't leave. That's the thing. I'm waiting on that white wing to get Look at this. This is killer. This is killer. We went from having no fun to having all sorts of fun here. I'm waiting on that white wing to get in. Where's he at? Right oh, in the front. Oh, in the front. Right there. Man, if we shot at that distance, we could literally drop. None. A bull. They'd open up. Kill it. Oh, I didn't even shoot. I didn't even shoot, dude. They're gone. I didn't even shoot. I couldn't pick what I wanted to do. See? Oh, see, it's that comeback call, dude. You got it. Here we go. Get ready, Brad. Take them all. Take them all. Kill. And the white witch got away. God dang. That was about a $3 pigeon. That white one got it from both of us, I think. <laughs> we got a whitey, boys. We got a whitey. Yeah, Auburn. That's a good looking bird. What's up, guys? We are back at the house. Wrapped it all up. Had a bunch of decoys to put away. As you guys had seen, we had to walk all the way back out in the field, pick up the whole spread. And by that time, I was exhausted and was like, you know what? I'll just finish this at home. This was one of them videos, one of them hunts where... We took nothing and we made something out of it. We had a bunch of geese fly over us. They gave us one look, didn't get low, and they were gone. We barely shot at anything, didn't kill any geese. But the pigeon hunt we had, it wasn't the biggest pigeon hunt, but man, it was still a blast. So it was just the best of both worlds. The goose hunting didn't work. So let's go do some pigeon hunting. I'm telling you what, if you guys haven't tried pigeon hunting yet, you need to. It is a blast but real quick as you guys can see on the website a lot of our lanyards are out of stock we are completely out and what we're going to be doing is revamping our designs so i've had a bunch of requests hey about how about some black on black ones i really want some black on black ones well here's our first one i want to know what you guys think about it here she is just black on black got the black drops on the bottom and then up top I just slapped these on some silver and orange drops up here but do you guys like this do you like some silver in it would you guys want some military green in it what colors do you want other than just 
straight black, you know? So guys, let me know down below. I want to make a lanyard that you guys want, a color that you guys want. I like the jet black, and I would like to do another one that has some green in it as well, some military green. But like I said, let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to make a lanyard that you guys really want. As well as you guys seen in the last video, the early riser hoodies are now available, guys. Go get you one, and the hats as well. I don't have one on today. I have my favorite on, so go grab you that early riser design. I will link all this stuff in the description below. But I want to thank you guys, as always, for watching. You, know, you guys know I appreciate it. I try to bring you guys on-field, on-hunt tips and how-tos. I try to answer you guys' questions the best I can. And I like to give you those juicy little tips, those juicy tips that I know a lot of you beginners may not know. So I'm, I really try to target you beginners. If you beginners have any questions, always ask. It always sparks an idea for a video. And it always plants a seed in my head so when I'm in the field and I come across something, I'm like, ooh, they need to know that. I go and do it. That's why I appreciate you guys commenting. But as always, guys, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button and turn on your notifications so you know when I post. We're doing three and four and five videos a week, so turn on them notifications. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace, y'all.